solving points. Um, today is the 21st of September, much to my dismay. I thought it was the, it's the 21st. Yeah, anyway, I've been confused. So, okay, it's okay. I thought tomorrow was the 23rd. It turns out it's not. Whoops. 2000. <laughs> I step calculation. Um, I pulled it all out of thin air. It's related to nothing whatsoever. But I want to demonstrate something. So go ahead and solve for this. I got 4.2 times 6.2 divided by 0.15 plus 9.3 times pi equals what? Get a number. So I got this number. I'll call it the old-fashioned way. Um, 4.2 times 6.2. So if I round this number before I go any further, then I have... I'll show you what that looks like. 20, if I do my sig figs, for instance. Well, I got two sig figs in that multiplication, so I have 26 divided by 0.15 plus 0.93 times pi. Okay, well, 26 divided by 0.15. Whoops. 26 divided by 0.15. Curve it back. Okay, so now I have 173.33333. Okay, but I'm going to take sig figs, and I can only have two sig figs. So that'll be 170 plus 0.93 times pi. Okay, so then 170 plus 0.93 is 170.93. So I have 170.93 times pi times pi. Oh, wait, I have to take my sig figs, don't I? And I only have... Um, yeah, I only have two sig figs, so gee, that's 170 pi, because I only have two sig figs. So 170 pi, well, that gives me 534.07, etc. And then I take my sig figs on the final answers for all of this, and I only have two sig figs. Let me shrink everything here. So here, my sig fig dancer is 550, and here, it's 530. It's a pretty big disparity. And the, the farther you go, the more steps you go through, the bigger it becomes. Yes, sir? Did I screw up the math? Okay. Um, you know, more, more evidence for the hypothesis that Moser can't even write numbers at this point in the day today. Um, let's just change that, because I used 0.93 consistently rather than 9.3. Uh, thank you. All right. I'm on a good mistake-making roll today. Um, so don't round until the end. What you'll very often see me do when I write down a raw answer if we're doing a problem together is I'll write, you know, 173.278, blah, 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 blah. That blah, 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 actually it's an ellipsis, but um, is code for me, that's my cue to myself, that I'm looking for a number that goes on beyond 173.278 on my calculator. If you're using the multi-view, you can very easily scroll up the list of numbers, hit enter, and that will pull that number back down into your calculations, which is why I prefer the multi-views for this kind of stuff, because you're more likely to make mistakes if you try to write out all, you know, seven digits of something and then retype them. Um, questions? Just some, just, just kind of problem solving stuff. Um, the other thing is, feel free, I said it to a few of you, but, you know, use lots of space, guys. <laughs> feel free. I, I appreciate the conservation of paper, but in here it's probably a really good place to um, use more of it. Make sure you're stacking things vertically. Um, you know, the decision to list variables horizontally or verb, or verb, <laughs> horizontally or verbally, Woo, horizontally or vertically, um, is a personal one. I tend to list them vertically because then I can visually match them. If you like them horizontally, go for it. Um, but that's it. Those are my notes on problem solving for today.